you're the type of person who goes to a casino and instead of having fun, you sit next to people who are having fun and say stuff like, hey, did you know that casinos don't have 90 degree turns? Then great news, you're in the right place. So gambling dates back to the Paleolithic period, before human history was even recorded, meaning that every time you lose $1,200 in online poker to someone named SexyBionicle69, what you're really doing is connecting with your ancestors. Last year, US casinos made $53 billion, which is approximately $53 billion more than we made at Half as Interesting. That number is even more impressive when you consider that casino profits are derived from very slight statistical edges. Roulette has a 2.7% house edge, Blackjack has a 0.28% edge, and dropping chips and not being able to find them has a shocking 100% edge. Of course, these slight statistical advantages only work for the casino if a lot of people gamble a lot of times. You know how Facebook uses supercomputers and teams of researchers to exploit every weakness in our stupid caveman brains so that you spend the maximum amount of time possible stalking your high school lab partner's fiance? Well, casinos are like that, except instead of wasting your time, it's getting you to waste your children's college funds. Now, you've probably heard of some of these classic tricks. One famous one is that casinos don't have clocks or windows, so people are more likely to lose track of time and thus gamble more. It's a brilliantly nefarious design choice that's impossible to overcome, unless some genius were to ever somehow invent a way to strap a clock to your wrist. The clock trick, along with basically all the other classic casino tricks, comes from a guy named Bill Friedman, a former gambling addict who cleaned up his act and then, inspiringly, became extremely rich helping casinos get more people addicted to gambling. After years of consulting casinos, Friedman wrote a book called Designing Casinos to Dominate the Competition, a 630-page tome available on Amazon.com for the low, low price of $274.99, which walks casinos through the very best methods for milking the masses. The book's first lesson on how to get rich quick is to charge $274.99 for a book. But if you're really set on the casino thing, the general idea is that casinos should consist of a number of smaller, intimate, crowded, simple gaming areas, which help gamblers focus on all the machines and allow opportunity for exploration. I don't have time to run through all 13 of Freeman's design principles, so I'm going to let them scroll past like an early 2000s CD commercial and highlight some of the most interesting ones. Physically segmented casino beats open barn. Gambling equipment immediately inside casino entrances. Low ceilings beat high ceilings. Short lines of sight beat extensive visual depth. Gambling equipment as decor beats decorations. Use multiple interior settings and gambling ambiances. But I know what you're wondering. What about the no 90 degree turns thing from the title? Is this one of those channels that gives promising things in the title and then never actually gives a satisfying explanation of them in the video? Well, let me put your mind at ease. We only do that sometimes. The no 90 degree turn rule is part of principle number four. Quote, the maze layout beats long, straight, wide passages. Essentially, Freeman's idea here is that sharp 90 degree turns act as decision points, triggering the decision making part of your brain and requiring you to choose to go in a certain direction, which might lead you to choosing to leave the casino. Friedman wrote, quote, passageways should keep twisting and turning through gradual gentle curves and angles that smooth out the shifts in direction. Or in other words, if the walkways go whoosh whoosh, the sheeple won't notice they've been turned towards the money stealing machines. According to his book, when Friedman changed the entryway at a casino from a right turn to a curved turn, the number of guests who entered that space doubled. Friedman's general theory of casino design is called gaming design. And while it's still in use in a number of casinos, there's a new movement gaining popularity known as playground design, whose basic philosophy is, what if we took Bill Friedman's $274.99 book and threw it in a fire? The pioneer behind playground design is a guy named Roger Thomas, pictured here looking like a straight-to-DVD version of Ted Danson. Thomas believes that the widely accepted Freeman design principles – small rooms, low ceilings, no decorations, crowded gaming machines – essentially made casinos cramped and ugly, leading people to spend less time in them and bet less. Thomas believed that the real key to getting players to stay longer was to create comfortable, luxurious spaces that would lull people into a relaxed state so they would stay longer and bet more. So Thomas partnered with hotelier, casinier, and sexual harassier Steve Wynn to build the Bellagio, a $1.6 billion casino with giant sprawling rooms, lofty ceilings, massive skylights, antique clocks, clear sight lines, and elaborate decorations. And it worked. The Bellagio produced the biggest profits of any property in the history of Las Vegas, generating four times more per room than an average casino. Thomas's model, the playground model, has since been studied in research settings and findings show its success is linked to encouraging restoration, a phenomenon that offsets mental fatigue. It turns out that if you put people in beautiful, relaxing settings, they want to stay longer than in ugly, stressful settings. Who knew? 
So remember before when I talked about the house edges in games? I said that Blackjack only has a 0.28% house edge? Well, that's actually only if you're playing smartly. If you don't know what you're doing, the house will win a lot more often. So if you want to try to take advantage of that tiny house edge, you should check out Brilliant, which actually has an entire course on casino probability where you'll be able to master strategy for Blackjack, craps, and poker. Brilliant teaches you through engaging, interactive problem solving. Not only will it teach you the rules of Blackjack, it'll give you puzzles like this one where you can apply your knowledge. Brilliant is the interactive, hands-on learning platform that helps you master new concepts and skills in STEM. If casino probability isn't your thing, they've got tons of other great courses on stuff like machine learning, astrophysics, or everyday math, all of which are presented in approachable, engaging, bite-sized chunks. You can try out Brilliant for free by being one of the first 200 to sign up at the link in the description, and when you do, you'll also be helping to support our channel.